Good evening. Good evening. Are you guys ready? Yes. Yeah. Um, first of all, I want to thank uh, Miss Lynette uh, Lavo and um, the Cambridge African American um, Heritage yeah, Alliance. Yeah, thank you. Um, we are so excited to be here, and my name is Rodriguez Manembo. Um, I'm shaking right now. <laughs> I'm used to be in front of a lot of people, but right now, especially there's a mayor here, and I'm like, yeah, I can just see my life story, you know? Yeah, um, I came from Congo. I'm a Congolese, but I, I grew up in Kenya. Where I went to Kenya um, at the age of, say, I was 15, with my little brother who was 11 years old. So I have to take care of my little brother from the start until now. And thank you. For my life story, um, I was a former child soldier back in Congo, and at the same time a refugee in Kenya um, until now. I'm still proud to be the refugee because it's, it's true that my past life, that's why I'm here. That's why you guys are sitting there and I'm here talking to you and listening to me. It's because of my past and I, I, of course I'm proud of that. But um, so far I want to talk about the organization, something that I created. When I first went to Kenya, we didn't have anybody, no parents. Nobody. It's only me and my little brother. And to get in Kenya, you have to cross at least two countries, from Congo to Kenya. So life was really crazy. When you talk about craziness, it's crazy. But thank God, he gave me hope. He gave me trust even though I don't trust people, but I trust myself. Yeah, he gave me, um, I think life, because being a child soldier, I've seen a lot of people dying, like especially my friends, people that you know we were in the forest with, and they died, but I'm still alive until now. But mostly, the only thing that made me create that organization was the passion that I have with people, especially with myself. Because before I love everybody, anyone, I start loving myself. That's why at young age I start dressing good, and always smell good because I was like, yeah. You know, we didn't have anybody, no parents. And, and when you are an orphan, when they see you die, everyone is like, you know, they were, you, you, you know those two guys over there, those two children? At the time, that's how they used to call us. And I was like, you know what, I need to change something. I started working with the organization called Filmed International, and it's where I learned about filmmaking. Then I started making films, short, short stories about um, the refugee camp, young refugees. And then um, I was one of the best directors in, in the refugee camp. I went to Nairobi uh, to represent all the uh, refugee camp in Kenya. And from there it went, I was like, you know what? I want to do something in the refugee camp, something that's going to help refugees. Because we had all those organizations when, let me say, um, Visit, uh, let me call them mostly white people when they come over there. Because for us, it's like when you see, when you see white people, you're like, okay, so there's a lot of, there's even people who never see white people in Africa. But me, I was one of the first young guys in, my, uh, in the refugee camp to have white friends. They come to my house, they travel from England all over, they come to see me because of my life story. At the same time, because of the way I used to work with them. Because working as a filmmaker, I was a fixer. So when they come in, in the camp, they have to look for me because I'm the one who knows, you know, uh, all around the camp. 
So, and that's how I used to make money, a lot of money, you know. Um, then I created, uh, before YFPG was YFM, that young African filmmakers, because I was as a filmmaker. And yeah, we made a couple of films, some of them we didn't even edit because we didn't have anything. You know, we have cameras, but we don't have computers, how are you gonna edit? And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna just keep it up. So um, we started doing dramas in the refugee camp. And those dramas was like to, um, to do awareness. Because like in the refugee camp, there is more than 15 countries, you know, and more than 1,000 tribes from different countries. So people used to fight too much, especially Sudanese, Somali, we Congolese, we don't like to fight because we are afraid. <laughs> yeah, um, but there, there was a lot of conf conflict between um, refugees. And I was like, and most conflicts conflict come from the young people, from the youth. And I was one of them. That's why I was like, you know what? I want to create something that going to bring all the community together. Mm -hmm. I start with the wife, wife and young filmmakers. And we used to do drama mostly. So when we have, like, there's a community where they have fighting, we just, um, I'm going to sit down with my crew, and I'm like, you know what, let's create um, a little drama, something that's going to give out message. And when we go there, we do a drama, uh, we call people out, they come, and we start asking questions. And, and after, like, a year, people start coming, a lot of people, because we start, you know, you know, like all over the camp, and the camp, everyone was like, hey, you know the wife, man? And all young people from different communities, they started joining us. And at the end, I was like, you know what? There's a lot of people. We, we, need, we need to expand this group, because it's only for filmmakers. And I can see there was dancers, musicians, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna change the name and give everybody a chance. So I changed it to, YAFBG, Young Africans Fighting for a Better Generation. Um, yeah, it's one of the biggest group, like one of the big group in, in, in the camp right now, more than 50 young people. So, um, and then I was like, I like films, drama, whatever, writing, you know, films, but I have love with music. And the only way I can at least share my life story with the people and really touch people is through music. It's when I, I start, you know, creating music. And I want to thank these guys who came with me here. One of them is Donaldo Jean. He's here. Stand up. Stand up. Yeah. Jemo. Jemo, Jemo, King Jemo. I call him the king. We have Judy. And we have Merry Christmas. Yeah. Um, I know, I, I didn't say, I, I didn't talk even about my life story. So, but it's too much. Maybe next time, if I start talking right now, we, we're gonna eat um, supper and we're gonna. <laughs> We're gonna wait until uh, uh, another Christmas, and I wanna stay here for long. But um, in short, is like here in America, I changed the name because here we were young African for a better generation. I'm like, no, I'm in America, and I don't wanna be young African for a better generation. It's okay, and I'm proud to be African, but I'm, I, I need people, you know. I I I I need to create a room for everybody. White, black, Asian, whatever. I need, you know, to create a, a, a room for everybody. That's why I said, you know what? Let me just use the my name. The my name was pro, like my name, my name means family, people, community. And it's something that my mother told me a long time ago, and I never even realized. I used to hate that name. Yeah, I used to, my name was when, when I was in school, you called me my name, I'm like, ah, that's, you know. But yeah, that's how he came up with the Manembos group. And right now, we really need help.
for anybody, you know. And oh, please clap for Lynette. She she's really doing a good job. And it's a long story the way we met with her. Like it's a long story, but thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I want this guy to tell you a little bit about his life story. It's just short about his school, especially. Just two, one minute, one minute, then we're gonna start with Hello, well, can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Um, my real name is James Mary. Um, I was born in Sudan, in the forest, 1994, January 1st, for the new year. Yeah, yeah, but you know, it was a hard day. Okay, um, when I came to the United States about three and a half years ago. Maybe you see uh, other mic. Turn yeah. on as well. One, two, one, two. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah. All right, thank you. Um, my name is James Mary, this is from the beginning. I'm, I'm from South Sudan. I was born in the forest, January 1st, 1994, in the year. It was a horrible day to be born, you know, because it was between, it, within, uh, it was the, during the time of the Civil War. So I had to live in the caves, in the forest, and no school, no what. But when I came to the, um, we the refugee camp, lived there for 10 years, then from refugee life to the United States, hoping to find a better life, and a promising life. And it's, it's been a great, um, Blessing to me, it's been a blessing being in the United States because I joined school, high school. I went to Chelsea High School, graduated with a GPA of 4.0, 4.0 grade. Took two classes. It wasn't so easy, but I knew what I wanted in life. I joined school. I was accepted to many schools that I, I, I applied to. My biggest dream college has been Harvard because I'm, I'm, I'm studying biology right now as a chemistry minor, hoping to go for medicine in the future. But right now, my school. Um, it's really critical. I can't pay for it, I can't afford for it. And my fear is that I'll be thrown out of school, which is gonna uh, kind of like ruin my life. I have this big dream, but again, I have this fear to excited because I don't want to fail because it makes me believe in the past that, you know, my aunt used to tell us, we have no life. Education is not for us. But I've always doubted it, and I wanted to prove her wrong that I could do something better, and I could be something bigger. But if I can't pay for my education, School is something that's really something that I love, but it doesn't love me back. I feel like I'm not gonna continue with uh, my education life. But I still do music because I love it. The fact that we create this organization, we bring youth together. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, DJ Toronto. So, are you guys ready? Yeah. Oh, why are you guys not smiling? Come on, give us a smile. Huh? <laughs> it's been a sad story, but okay. Yeah. yeah. So our first song called Maisha, Life. Maisha is a Swahili word called, it means life. So when we are talking about everyone's life, you like never give up and move on. So it mixed with French, uh, Swahili and English. Hope you guys are going to enjoy. Thank you.
sound, we gonna get there. Johnny, a thousand miles. Yep. The sound, I'm head. gonna get there. Johnny, my Isha. Yep. Johnny, a thousand miles. Woo. It's a ride. It's a sound. It's a sound. Yeah. yeah. Woo. So it's time to go back to Africa. So we African, we like to dance. You know, that's part of our country. That's why you see me, I'm just taking out this one so that, you know, you guys can see my waist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> OK, uh, DJ.
um, our next song is gonna be called uh, Why Our next song is gonna be called uh, why refugees by nationality? Because this is a question we had since in the refugee camp, and we came here. It's a question we've been asking. It has never ran out of our minds. Because we keep, we're still wondering why we refugees by nationality. And this is what uh, the song is titled. Uh, and we have, uh, we, we, we just created um, a festival here in Boston. It's called War Refugee World Refugee Day Festival in Boston. So hope uh, it's gonna be on June 20th this year. Hope you guys gonna come because right now we are working with Lynette and I know she's so great and I know she's gonna but but maybe we can use this place. You know, we just went around and I was like, damn, this place is great. This big space over there, maybe we're gonna see if the honorable gonna give us a chance to talk to her and you know, to share what we have and see how she can help us. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. YFPG production for that season. Yeah, and African fighting for a better generation. TMP. They my name was Pro. That's right. Yeah. It's yeah. real man, my member. We believe we survive for a reason. Tell, Tell our story. Our story. To change many lives, yeah. to inspire, edify, and motivate. Yeah. Ready? Are you ready? Close. Yeah. Why? 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 What? Why have we become refugees by nationality? Why? Why? Why have we become refugees by nationality? Why? 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 Why?
song together. It's called Only God Can Judge Me. Black, white, only God can judge me. Please, let's sing this song together. Thank you. 